All right, guys, I'm going to do this side first. Watch the special scientific compound go in. Mom, I don't want to go to monster school today. I promise, Dennis, by the end of the day, you're going to love monster school. All right, Mom. Hi, Dennis. Welcome to my class. Oh, hi, Goldie. Don't be upset. You know what? Learning is fun. I have a couple of questions for you. Do you like science? Yeah, I do. Do you like monsters? I love monsters. I am a monster. Do you like outer space? Yes, I love outer space. Dennis, there are 35 fun little beaker creatures from five different families from outer space. Now see, aren't you glad you came to school today? I am. All right, let's get with our experiments. Woohoo! All right, friends, to play my beaker creature school game, I need you to put in the comments how many beaker creatures are in this tube here. Is it five creatures, six creatures, or seven creatures? Put your answer in the comments. All right, friends, here it is. This is the first thing we need to open. It's our Beaker Creatures Liquid Reactor Super Lab. This is so amazing. We're going to extract our creature, identify the species, and explore their world. It's like science made fun. And it's for ages 5 plus, and it's a 15-piece set. Woohoo, let's get it open. So this is the reactor chamber. And this is called a stir rod. You have two beaker creatures that comes with this set. You have your tongs and you have two super cool beakers. So when we open up our beaker creatures, we can identify them and teach Dennis all about them. So there are beaker creatures called astrolites, oceanites, frostonians, ooh, they look cool, buglets, Mini sores and limited edition 24 carat. All right, we're about to get a beaker creature. This is so fun. So in the set came with two beaker creatures. Now we have no idea what planet, who, where, what, anything about them. So we're gonna open them up. They're in little wrappers and we're gonna get our tongs and we're gonna put them in our reactor chamber. Let's do it guys. All right, friends, I'm putting it in the reactor pot and I'm gonna let it go. The next thing you have to do is you have to add a special scientific compound to this. And the compound is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. <gasps> Does anybody know what that is? Put it in the comments if you know what two parts hydrogen plus one part oxygen is. I'm gonna do my hydro plunger here and here, and it's gonna put my special two part hydrogen, one part oxygen scientific solution into the reactor pod. And then we're gonna get a creature. Let's do it. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this side first. Watch the special scientific compound go in. It is happening. This is so cool. <gasps> Look what's happening, guys. Look, Dennis, what do you think? I love it, I love it. I love school. I can't wait to get my creature. Wow, that is the coolest thing ever. A little messy, so you need paper towels. But guess what? Messes are fun. It is not ready yet. I wonder if it needs a little bit of our scientific solution I just put in. This is like the coolest toy I have seen in such a long time. All right, friends, the creature is ready to be extracted. <gasps> it's in a little pod? I lost it. I saw it. Is this it? To be very, very careful. <laughs> All right, guys, here's our first little creature. <gasps> Oh, whoa, how cute. Look at that. And he has like three silly things on top of his head. And he looks kind of goofy, which I love. I think this guy might be from the icy planet. Let's check the beaker creature's chart. Do you see him? Do you see him? I think he's from this Frostonians. No, that's not him. There he is. He's flurry. Look how cute. That's him, all right. Let's give him to Dennis. I like him a lot. He's really, really cool. I want more beaker creatures. It's so cool. He's from like a frozen planet. I know, I know. Isn't that cool? He's got three feet. I know. He's kind of like a monster, like a creature, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's awesome. All right, guys. Time to pick. 
pick up the pink reactor pod. All right, so I'm gonna use both of my hydro plungers to make the reaction. You ready? Let's do on this side. Let's see if we can see inside. I don't see anything yet. Wow, Dennis, do you see anything? Not yet, not yet. Look guys, the creature floated to the top. Oh, let's grab him. Ooh, look, he's got spikes on his back. That kind of looks like maybe a dinosaur of some type, but look what funny little cute nose he has. And he only has one eye. Ooh, he's just like a, a cyclops dinosaur type creature. Let's see if we can find him on the chart. Is that him? I think this is him. Hornfellow, what? Yep, look at the side. This is Hornfellow, guys. We got a mini source. This is awesome. Here you go, Dennis. Now you have two breaker creatures. You have this cutie called Hornfellow. All right, guys. So we opened the two beaker creatures that came with the set. Now let's check out this giant beaker creature tube to see how many creatures are inside. Well, guys, who knows how many's in this giant tube? Could it be a hundred? No. It can't be a hundred. Could it be twenty? Eh, I don't think so. But maybe it could be. Eight? I'm not sure. So check it out guys. These are the boxes you can find in the store. It says Beaker Creature Reactor Pod. That's kind of hard to say. It's a three-piece set. This is series one. On the side it shows you the cool little characters you can get. And then it says which creature will you discover? Collect them all. So let's get to it. Ooh, so here's our pod. Check it. It's like an orange pod. So it comes with a little card. What do they call it? Let's see. Oh, a classification card. That's right. Classification card. And then it has a mini poster with some cool science facts. But we don't want to see this yet because then we'll know what's inside. So let's put our H2O on here and see what happens. Now, while we're waiting for our creature to reveal his or herself, look on the side of the box. What does it say? Hmm. It says you can unwrap and drop your pod in water. So if you don't have this big set, you can just use a bowl of water. Then you're going to watch the reaction, then extract your beaker creature. Then you're going to identify your creature with the included identification card. This little creature was slow to come out, so I put him inside the beaker and I'm spinning him around with my little stir stick to get him to come out. Oh, he's ready now. Oh, he's finally ready. Good, good, good. All of his outer reactor core is off. So let me grab him. I see lots of eyeballs. I love lots of eyeballs. Oh my goodness, guys, this guy has three eyeballs. How cool, and his back, his wings or whatever kind of looks like a four-leaf clover. And he has two feet on this side and two feet on this side. Let's check the chart. All right, guys, so we're actually gonna go inside this box and get our little classification card. This is so cool. This is even cooler than I even thought, guys. So look. This little guy is from the Buglets. His name is Nat. I hate Nats, but I don't hate you. You can ride on here and identify, like a real scientist, the parts of your creature. And there's two on this side and two on this side. So there's four legs, zero antenna, three eyes, zero tentacles, two wings. You could say one on this side. I don't know, maybe you say four, but I would say two, one on this side and one on this side. And the color you could put yellow and green. And then it gets just cooler and cooler and cooler by the second. It comes with this cool poster. And there's Nat and there's his friend Peeper. Oh my goodness, Peeper has too many eyes. But then on the back, it has facts about real insects. It says, what's the buzz with all of us buglets? All of the interesting insects we've met here on Earth, check them out. So then you have three little questions about bugs. All right, Dennis, are you ready for your first question about insects? I'm ready, Goldie. All right. All right, Dennis, we're going to ask you question number three. It says, a firefly's glow comes from a skill called bioluminescence. 
Why do fireflies glow? A. To find food. B. To communicate with each other. Or C. To see at night. What do you guys think? So, Dennis, what is it? I'm gonna guess. B, Goldie. Dennis said B. To communicate with each other. I don't know, guys. I don't know the answer. Let's flip it over. Three is B. Dennis, you were right. It was B. They do that to communicate with each other. Oh, wow, guys, class is over. That's the bell. Oh, Dennis, class is over. Oh, no, Goldie, I was having so much fun. I wanted more of these bigger creatures. This is so fun. See, Dennis, I told you how fun learning can be. But first, we have to find out how many creatures are in that tube. We'll have to do them in another video. All right, all my science class fans. Let's see. So we took one out. So let's see how many more are in here. Let's see if you guys are a winner. Oh, one, two, three, four. That's it. So four, one, two, three, four, plus the one we opened. Five, the answer was five. If you guessed there were five beaker creatures in this cool tube, put I'm a winner in the comments. Hooray for you. To continue the fun, click on one of the videos on the screen below. Or you can click on my face, Goldie Star, to subscribe to Treasure Chest Surprise Toys.